Okay. Do you want to play rough? Okay. Uno. Say hello to my little Doom Wad. Hey everybody, it's Sandwich, and we're about to push it to the limit in Mordor Mansion. That's right, the mansion from Scarface. And remember the shotgunner behind you? Well, when you start, yeah, he's gonna be right there. Let's pick up some stuff, get the Berserk off the cocaine, pick up the Shadow Sphere, and that's about as much as I've played, just to test this out. That's right, Doom Guy retired to a UAC-funded mansion, but the Homeowners Association was run by demons, and they don't like the way you cut your hedges, so... We are going to lay waste with my little friend here. <laughs> Remember that from the game? Secret... or the movie, I, rather? Uh, Scarface is almost like a video game. In fact, there was a Scarface video game. Which is pretty funny. Uh... Apparently, it's Homeowners Association run by demons and Nazis, which, you know, what's the difference, I guess, at some point, right? Now, uh, did I get everything in here? Anything in my safe? Uh, you can jump in this, but apparently it won't hurt you. It's gonna... wait, just a second. Okay. Now we can kill these fucking cockroaches. Morador Mansion? Uh... Oh, we got a shot. We keep our shotgun on a platter here. Oh my lord, they're all bunched up. Oh boy. I could use uh, another little friend, maybe a rocket launcher. Oh. oh, first you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the rocket launcher. Am I right? Oh. Oh. You, of course, you could probably try to load a mod with, a, you know, an M16 with a grenade launcher if you want the full experience, but, uh... Just gonna have to do with the rocket launcher. Pick up some health bonuses. 472 monsters. The mapper, Dr. Bleed, which is quite fitting, a name, uh, said it was slaughterish. I'm not sure that that's really true. I mean, there's a lot of enemies here. It's not what you would call a precise movement or anything yet, but, uh... Oh, we got some key doors. Oh, I think this is a giant ass door. Is that it? One does not simply walk into Morador Mansion, though, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Is it called Morador in the? I don't know. In the, in the movie. Yeah, these guys. Uh... I've heard about homeowners associations in some few places, and, uh... Seems like a rather draconian response, but... You know... Some of those news stories, this isn't that far from the truth, right? You fly the wrong flag and... Just have demons show up, you know? Um... But this is, uh, cre you know, this is a recreation of that mansion from the movie. Um... And so far, I mean, I don't... I think I, I think I remember the mansion from GTA Vice City a little more than this one, you know? Yeah, we got a little fountain back here. The yellow key, which... Doesn't spawn anything, thankfully. Use more rockets, and there they are. Perfecto. Thankfully, those guys are not, or seem to be deaf. Let's take out these barons. You don't want these guys showing up at your front door. Pri definitely private security. Hey, buddy. Oh, nice. Okay. Lots of nice Zimmer hedges. That's the, uh, Pay top dollar to put in some Zimmer hedges on your location. You know? Um... Well, this got damaged a little. I don't want to pick up those rockets yet because they're just going to wake them all up, you know? Let's go. Uh, we can just kind of pick these guys off at our leisure. Um... Not sure that was intended that way. You might want to make those a little bit more interesting. Uh, you know, I'm not sure why these guys decided to attack my home and then just retire into a corner and just stare at the wall until they were shot at. 
I don't remember that in the movie. But, you know. Maybe just set those guys to... Am ambush is the one where they see, right? And they attack. I'm not a mapper, but I think that's... That is. Uh, yeah, that would be my recommendation there. Quite a few monsters left, though, so... I guess through those uh, key doors in the mansion, there's going to be quite a bit more. So far, there's been a lot of monsters, but I definitely wouldn't call this... I mean... You can argue about, argue about what slaughter is till the cow, cows come home, but it's not just a lot of monsters. It's definitely the way they're laid out and requ requiring uh, quite uh, puzzly solutions with precise movement and, you know, kiting of enemies and threat prioritization, that kind of thing. Of course, the definition always depends on how good you are at the game, I find. If you're really good, then lots of stuff isn't slaughter because it's easy to you. Um, like I said, you can argue about that. Till the, till the imps come home, you know? But, uh... I would definitely say this isn't that, but, hey. They're playing on a keyboard, maybe. Uh, okay. These guys, thankfully, are not completely deaf. Uh, like those other demons that were just content to stare at a wall. Really cool texture used here. I don't know if these are, like, custom textures from... But the, not the movie, you, but uh, they're evocative enough, you know? Is this a stereo system and a big screen? I gotta get me one of those. I also like this, like, kind of MIDI version of, of this song. Feels like a Nintendo, like a NES version of there was an NES Scarface game. This is what it would sound like, you know? Uh, invincibility. Certainly don't need that for this room. This guy was stuck in his chair. He couldn't get up. Uh, say goodbye to the bad guys, right? I will try not to aggressively quote that movie. You've heard it all before, I'm sure, but uh, it's been a while since I watched this movie. I really enjoyed it when I did, but uh, perhaps it has been overexposed to a lot of folks, so I uh, yeah, might as well. Not the most dangerous thing, but, you know, might as well use this thing. Shoe Stoffel. Guessing those are Barons. You know, if Tony Montana had an invincibility, you know, he should have just, he just should have just stocked up on invincibilities, don't you think? That probably would have helped out. He may have actually survived that, uh... Yeah. Got a fridge, a microwave. We're in the kitchen area. Got a, uh... Got a, uh... I need a red skull! Okay, so you're kind of getting progress a little bit more there. It's a UAC microwave. It's got the, uh... I like how the UAC microwave has, like, a computer readout on the glass. Like, you... <laughs> okay. Let's push it to the limit on the other side of the mansion. Let's see what's over here. Um, let's walk along the razor's edge. No, I'm just... <laughs> uh, we got lots of plasma. So let's bathe this entire hallway. I right, finally got a super shotgun. Quite a nice weapon. I think the, the guy who shoots Tony Montana, did he have like a sawed off like super shotgun style? I don't know. Yeah, these are fairly, you know, they're packed with enemies, but they're mostly hit scan enemies, which you know, makes some sense with the with the scene in the movie, but uh, you know, not not very dangerous. Uh, can I can't really open any of these Wolfenstein, uh, I guess, toilet stalls. Uh, finally woke those guys up. Uh, I do have a berserk, but uh, there's so much ammo and health on this map; it doesn't actually matter. 
Um, like I said, the mappers said this could be difficult, but um, at least from my vantage point, it's been pretty straightforward so far. Uh, obviously going for a more realistic look, which, you know, sometimes that can have the issue of making encounters fairly... Like, this area is just kind of straight log hallways and... It's been very boxy rooms, but, you know, if you're looking to recreate the mansion... Um, there are definitely people out there, you know, very veteran mappers who can make that work. But, uh, I don't pretend to know how. I'm not a mapper, and that seems hard as hell. Uh, M play. This is UDMF, so I can run under these cacos. Um, nobody's actually flanking me from that direction, which is good. But yeah, this is the hedge maze, I guess. So he never, uh... Should have been like a hedge maze, like shining type scene at the end where Montana's just running around with a M16 just blowing holes in a hedge maze with a grenade launcher. That should have been in one of the uh, deleted scenes or something, you know? Full of plasma. Yeah, it's way more uh, resources than you actually need in this so far. Mein Leben. You should have thought of that before you messed with... Doom Guy Montana. My name is Christian Montana. I'm a new Doom mapper on Doom World. Uh, <laughs> I go by Thelok. And, uh... I'm tired of everyone's shit. Is that everything in here? I got the key, yellow key. Yeah, you're Laban. Oh. Huh. That's a secret. Oh. Well, all I did was follow the maze. That's everything. Alright. Let's push back. Uh, uh, we have secrets in this? Two se- Are those- I see a broken part. Oh. oh, some of these look like they open, but they don't. Uh, oh, I didn't open this? Oh, I feel bad for your Laban too, my friend. There's a Baron trying to tend the bar. so awkward when the bartender's so hot and you're just like, oh, so dreamy. I don't even know how to order a drink from this, this person. It's fine. Yeah, I definitely ordered a drink. Oh, jeez. Okay. Looks like you've already been spawning some friends in there, but, uh... Hasta la vista. That's not even the right movie, but, you know. Close enough. Oh, jeez. No BFG, so I can't just, like, lay waste to this entire thing at, you know, one second. But, they are very bottlenecked here. So, not much of a threat. And you have so many resources. You get a secret megasphere that's really not... Really not, you know, very secretive, I would say. And, uh, you've got a, enough plasma to take out, I think, three times of these enemies. But, I mean, what do you expect? It's just the Homeowners Association. They're not, uh... You think they knew what Doomguy had... Like, Doomguy has shot his way through several planets worth of demons by now. A single Homeowners Association, not really gonna cut it. Nice pull, though. Not animated, though, but that would have been a nice little extra. Pop a couple of medikits on the Barbie. You think grilling a medkit ups its potency? Huh. Something you could try out. Let's go back. 
computer area map just showing me that there is a secret. And uh, I guess I had not actually tried that because I had tried pressing on others, but... Uh, uh, this is the Charnel room, Charnel house room. This looks like it's offset, is it? Uh, I think. Sure, let's grab that. I'm not really scared of overusing resources in this map. Um, probably almost done. This is, this music is making me want to see like a one of those like D make like side scrollers for Scarface. <laughs> it's running around with an M16. <laughs> Okay, we got a light goggles section here. Tony Montana puts on his night vision goggles. I don't remember that scene. That would have been sick, though, right? Uh, oh, some texture. I don't know if those textures necessarily... Repeat very well for a ceiling there. Kind of a bit awkward. Not really sure where these assets are from though. Wall one is is interesting. So is Tony Montana gonna make it out this time, or Tony Doom Guy, or Doom Guy, or? First you get the light goggles, then you get the megasphere, and then you get the cyber glutes. <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, well, I guess there's not a ton of plasma left, but there's so much in the rest of the mansion. Oh my god, another megasphere. A BFG at the end. Oh. That would have at least made, like, parts of this a little more interesting. Not... Because it's not hard. It's just, like... Oh, that's actually all the monsters. Uh... I don't... Oh, there's the... Is that the... Is that really this... Oh, did I really miss that? Let's just, uh, get a... You know, Tony Montana always gives 100%. Right? He goes all the way to the top. And, uh, just like him, we need to go. It's just, did I not click on these both? What? Are you fucking kidding me? No. I might have to push it to 75% of the limit. Oh, you can actually jump. Wait a minute. Okay, that's not it. Okay, you might want to fix that because you said jump didn't break anything. Well, it uh, appears to soft lock you there, so. Uh, I don't really see any other anything else on the map for a secret. So, like. Wait a minute. What's that? Oh. Well, that would have been nice. Okay, so you can't actually get there fairly early and BFG the shit out of this entire map. I mean, at, and th at that uh, rate, you might actually um, run out. <laughs> but I almost feel like just for funsies, I want to like start this again and just get that right away and just like absolutely. Oh, okay. You hit the door and that's the exit. You might want to make that a switch. It's kind of janky, but. Um... Uh, and uh, Scarface makes it to the underhalls part of the movie. No, um, let's check this out. Guys, check this out. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, this is kind of a... Now, this is say hello to my little friend. Holy shit, imagine if he had a BFG in that movie. Oh, boy. This is, uh, oh, right here is gonna be 
Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, you did it. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Uh, probably call it there, though. I think that's... I have to, like, search for plasma a bit longer, so... Oh, shit. There's actually plasma back here. Check this out. Oh, that's just a rocket box. Boo. Boo. Yeah, turn your back at me for the last time. Oh, yeah, right here. All right, I think I'm good. Check this out if you want some a good Scarface time. A good s scarfing, t <laughs> Scarface and scarfing time. And uh, a yeah, pretty well realized mansion here. Hope you enjoyed. This is Sandwich, and uh, I'll see you next time for something else. Goodbye.